Hi, Angelo here from Future Summits Online, the future of the future. It is my great pleasure to introduce you to my next guest, Mr. Bob Huey. Actually, no, Bob Idea Man Huey. Bob is overflowing with ideas and creativity and innovation. He is the guy who travels the world on a mission to give help and hope to everybody that he meets. And he does that in truckloads. I can't wait for you to meet this guy. He's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet in your whole life. Super humble, yet super intelligent. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Bob, the Idea Man Q. And one of the one of the books I wrote, you can see in the background, is is speaking or working beyond the first sale. And the guy who did the forward to that built a, a billion dollar industry, a retail furniture industry here in Canada. And in the forward, he reminded me that one idea I gave him made him twelve million dollars. And I, I wow. wasn't aware of the fact that I did that. I just it was just we were talking about something, and I said, "Hey, you're missing you're missing something here." And I outlined some ideas for him, and he went ahead and did it. And the end result was at the end of the year, because he's that kind of business person. He tracks everything. That made him well over $12 million that single year. They want to get better at what they're doing. They want to in, they want to improve their lives. They want to do something better than they've done now, but they don't know how. So they need the encouragement, which is the hope, but they need the help, which is the how-tos. And I, I thought about it, and I thought, in times of crisis, people need help and they need hope. That's my business. That's what I do. I mean, that's really what I bring is I bring I bring ideas and encouragement to their lives to say, if you want to do something, here's how you do it. And I believe you can do it. And in a, in a sense, it's kind of like we're, we're stuck behind a wall because we're seeing we're seeing this instead of seeing over the wall. And when we see something is right, it raises our, our viewpoint just enough that we can see over the wall and go, oh, maybe there is something past this. Maybe there is something I can do. And you could see the shock look in my face. I went, what do you mean? I want to be a speaker and travel the world. He said, Bob, you're going to run into a lot of obstacles. You're going to run into a lot of detours. Things are going to go wrong. Things are going to be rough. And it's not always going to work the way you hope. And if your dreams aren't big enough, you're going to stop. What, what is what is going to stay the same is some of the logistics around business, which is like taking care of your customers, providing good, solid surf, you know, service, making sure we, we give them what they want, sometimes even before they know they want it, which is us doing our research. Yeah. It, will it to return to the same level that it is now? Probably not. I think, I think we're going to find there are going to be a lot more uh, online training programs and stuff that continue going on because people are going to find out that it does work in a short term. It does work. So it will allow them to bring in speakers from around the world and keep their costs in line uh, to still service the people in the audience. But Absolutely. people do like the social context. And I think that means some of us are still going to get to go travel. So, so it's, it's that, okay. It's, I want to say it's simple, but not easy. But the word that connects idea and implementation is action. And, and that's what gets you out of your comfort zone. Because if you stay where you're comfortable, uh, you're basically dead, but you just haven't been buried yet. <laughs> uh, Calgary has a lot of head offices. Uh, downtown Calgary, big high scrapers full of, well, used to be full of people. A lot of empty real estate right now. <laughs> And my guess, I, I could be wrong, but my guess, a lot of it's going to stay empty after COVID goes away or gets under control because they're going to find that for the most part, a lot of them don't need the expensive office space or they need less than they do. Or occasionally, if they need to bring people together, go hire an auditorium or go hire uh, a, a ballroom at a hotel and bring them together. If, if they can work at home, and they've got the techniques, they've got the, the tools, and they can still do it. Because one of the things that, that somebody, I think it was MIT, did some studies on it, that there's actually an increased productivity from working at home. Now, the, the other thing that I suggest to people if you do that, if you ask somebody for help, don't come back for a second ask unless you've done something with the first ask. Yes, that's very true. That's very, very true. Because they're going to ask you, so what happened last time? Oh, I didn't do it. Then why should I give you more advice? Why should I help you again? Go away. 
they may be nice <laughs> to you. They're gonna, in their mind, they're going to say, okay, I gave you some advice. And, and it's okay to say, I tried it and it didn't work for this reason. But to say, to go away and say, no, I didn't do anything with it. That means, okay, I didn't really value your advice, but I'm coming back to take another shot at it. So ask the right people, ask the right questions, and then actually do something with it. I, I have found that uh, people have, I have been so fortunate in my life. There have been so many people that have helped me. And I think one of the reasons is, one, I'm very grateful that they help. I don't take it for granted. I really appreciate the fact that they're investing in my life. And that's the way I look at it. And I keep them involved. I keep them informed to say, by the way, I did something with what you suggested. Here's what happened. Okay, now what should we do? And people like to be part of something that's successful, something that's growing, something that's got energy. Because my belief system says that if you're willing to have a good idea, work on it, put some ideas and some feet under it, you can make it happen. Which is great.